Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're picking up right where we left off in the last episode. Uh, so if you haven't seen that episode, uh, basically we are in the process of moving all of our stuff over to the Nighthawk parcel from the old Arnold uh, parcel. Um, and we got our first load over here, and I got some of the smaller stuff put on the shelves. There doesn't look like there's a lot, but we also dropped a lot of non-damageable uh, uh, indestructible, maybe is the word, uh, items like buckets and hoses and stuff like that out by the wash plant area. So they're, um, easy to get to. And then we also ended that episode by getting, um, a full tank of fuel. Uh, so what we're going to do first is we're going to move the kind of medium size equipment, uh, the fuel tank, the water generator and the water tank into the shed first. And then we will probably go back to old Arnold to get another load of small stuff, bring it back, and then eventually, you know, get the, the big equipment inside the shed too. All right, so let's uh, let's get going with this. Uh, so what I want to do here is I want to try and get the, uh, you know, the tank tanks types of things, these thingies in here and put them up against the wall. Um, that's going to really be sticking out, isn't it? Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's uh, pull this back out for a minute. Why don't we go ahead and put the dump truck in right now? Because we should still be able to get around it to put little things on the shelf. And we're going to kind of put it back in this little cubby here. I know this is kind of a pain in the butt. In hindsight, I probably should have just put everything into storage. What a, the, the reason I didn't is because then we would have had to pay for two transport fees instead of just one. But, I don't know, this may end up being more trouble than it's worth. But... It, we're kind of going to try it anyway. Okay, that is going to make it a little difficult to get to the shelves, isn't it? Well, all right. Then I'll tell you what. We better go back to old Arnold and get, just get the rest of the small stuff first before we put anything else in here. I mean, I could, I could make it work, but let's not make things more difficult on ourselves than we need to. Okay, so now that we've decided that, let's just pull this back out of the way again for now. Should be okay right there. And uh, we also, in the last episode, uh, purchased the fast travel option and I discovered much to my delight that we only have to whoops we only have to pay for it don't open the hood we only have to pay for it once uh, and then we can just unlock it anywhere we are which is super handy so the only other one we've unlocked so far is this one here I think I don't think can we go all the way back to old Arnold No, because see, it's got the open hand, whereas this one in town has the point, pointy finger, So, and it lights up when we click on it. Okay, so let's travel to that one, and then we might as well open up the one at the factory and the one at Old Arnold, too, which will just save us some time as we're needing to get to those places. Of course, once we're done at Old Arnold, we're done. I, there's no reason that I can think of why we would ever go back there unless I needed to look at something that I did, maybe. But it won't be a regular thing, that's for sure. It's a nice, bright, wintry day here in Haynes, Alaska. But we still have six days until the really, really cold weather arrives. And we'll be nice and cozy inside the hotel by that time. At least that's the plan. Okay, so this is the fast travel point for 
the factory. You have successfully unlocked it. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. I like that the game forces us to to go to that point um, first before we can unlock it, because you know it makes it forces you to at least do the drive once. You know. Um, though the drive out to Nighthawk isn't quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's it's a little it's further, but the road the road's reasonably smooth all the way out there so that's a good thing and we'll unlock the old Arnold fast travel there we go fantastic all right so and guess what I forgot to bring my trailer but that's not a problem because we can fast travel back to uh I hope there's not a limit as to how many times we can use this. Back to Nighthawk to get it. <laughs> well, that's convenient. Except we have to wait for the load screens, but that's okay. Better than the alternative, right? All right, let's grab our trailer. I left that over here by the, the camper trailer. <laughs> But we had it for just a second there. Oh man, it's so hard to operate this thing with finesse. Fortunately, they gave us a little bit of a a buffer zone there. Man, my nose is really bothering me right now. <clears throat> Now we should be able to fast track right over back to old Arnold. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, there doesn't appear to be a limit as to how many times you can use that in a given time frame, so that's good. Something like that really shouldn't... Oh, the trailer's going to come to us. Look at that. Something like that really shouldn't matter in a single-player game anyways. I can see where it could be abused maybe in a multiplayer game. Oh, uh, really? Go that way. Oh! We can actually push that. I didn't think we would be able to move it. Nice. Put us right pretty much where we need to go, too. All right, so let's get you in the front here. I can't see where that other leg is, but I'm assuming it's... All right, that's probably good enough. And then we'll grab the wave table. And uh, let's put you... Well, actually, if I can put you in crossways, that'll give us a little room in the back. Go further out. Over. There we go. Look at that. It's good stuff. Okay, now... Um, sorry if I'm... Sniffling and snorting a bunch. Uh, is there... Would it let us do this? Okay, it appears so. <coughs> Excuse me. It's on tight. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Nice. What about, can't see very well here. Okay. And can we get a fourth one? That is the question. It's really hard to see when you have this right up in your face. Oh, <laughs> I tossed it a little too far away. Let's just throw it up there. All right, now, is it, um, is it locked in place? That's the question. Yeah, I think so. Looks like it is. Good. 
Oh, well, I don't know, is it? That upper hog pan seems like it's maybe jiggling around a little bit. I can't really tell for sure. Okay, well, let's just keep it the way it is, and hopefully it'll stay on there. All right, now we just have a bunch of little stuff to load up. Well, and we also have the lights. Speaking of which, where is my, my light? Did I move that off the parcel? I'm talking about my big light. I don't remember doing that, but that doesn't mean I didn't do it. Transport. Light system trailer. Yeah, I did. Okay. That's in storage right now. Okay, let's see if we can get these lights first. Get all the rest of the, you know, larger stuff, and then we can focus on the little stuff. Because we can take a big pile of that. All right, I guess those are on there okay. All right, can we put a couple of couple more smaller things in there without it getting unstable uh, <laughs> are those actually in there um i think so all right you know what let's just take since we have fast travel now uh oh that was close uh let's just take this load over as is We still have all those cables and things too that we got to do. All right, fast travel back up to Nighthawk. <laughs> oh. Okay, sorry about that. Where are you going, trailer? Actually, let's just stay right here for the moment. Uh, we want the lights inside because they can get damaged, the, the bulbs in particular. Which direction is that facing? Man, can't... We need, a, we need a, to be able to zoom out when we're holding on to this stuff so we can see what's going on with it. Every time I set it down, it the, it kind of kicks back out against the from the wall. All right. Well, I guess that's where it wants to go. So that is where it shall go. And actually, maybe instead of putting it there, why don't we stuff these in this corner? Because I'm planning on putting the the trailer items in there, like the fuel tank and the water pump and all that sort of thing. Okay. And one more light here. Come on. Can you not be all janky looking? There. That's better. In the real world, I would have shoved them all the way up against the wall, but it doesn't really want to let me do that all right this um actually i want to keep this stored well here we can put it put one of these in here for now i suppose we'll just stick it down here all right now um let's put the 
this stuff over by the Nuggetators. Just right up against the wall there. <clears throat> That's good. Same thing with the wave table. The hog pans, we can put those, take those out to the to the plant site. All right, hold on. Get. Why won't you get level? Actually, it probably would be better to put it like this. No, nope, it's not over far enough. That's pretty good. We can we can work with that. All right. Oh man, you were yellow. No, don't open the hood. Nice and easy. <laughs> this is not as easy as it looks, you guys. If you've ever played this game, then you know what I'm talking about. Okay, we'll drive this stuff out to the to the wash plant. And actually, if we're going to do that, we might as well take this with us because we're probably going to need it. And then we'll go back and get another load. We might be able to get it all. We might, we should, I think we'll be able to get everything in this episode. It might take us a couple more loads yet, but we should be able to get it all in this episode. Yeah, slow down. All right, so we're staging all of this stuff over here. We're putting the water lines kind of on this side. <clears throat> Put all the hog pan stuff over here for now. You know, actually, let's look at, let's look and see if we can actually put this in place, because that it does stick out to the side. I cannot see a daggone thing here. No, that's gonna be in the way of putting the gravel pumps in. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's not fight it. I could make it work, but again. No point in making things more difficult for ourselves than necessary. So we'll just store them right here for now. All right, we have lost one of our hog hog pan sluice box sluice extension i don't know where we lost that at but if it happened during fast travel i would have to think that it just fell on the ground back at old arnold i hope so we will find out here in just a moment there's our inaugural breaking of the wood stakes Come on, pick up. You can do it. There you go. It might be on the ground over here, and I just didn't notice it. I don't know. Uh, I don't see it, though. Okay, well, hopefully it just kind of popped off. Oh, no, I don't have to get out when we fast traveled over here. If it didn't, then I guess we'll have to buy another one. At least it's, you know, at least they're not expensive. Yep, there it is. Good deal. 
Nope. I want the whole pan here. Let's just dump you in right nice and flat there. I can actually move this. I did not know that. That's kind of handy. All right, let's grab all of the cables. Get those done next. Okay, I think that clears everything out from this little shed except for you. Let's pop you in here. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't sure what that thing was going to do. <laughs> Nothing down that way. I don't... I don't know how in the world I bought so many daggone cables, man. I mean, I know that... Uh, is this going to be stable? Yeah. I know that, you know, I, I would have cables snap on occasion, and then I'd buy some more, but I just don't remember that many snapping... And it appears to me that the ones that did snap have somehow magically repaired themselves. So I have like a ton of cables. Um, also, when I was editing uh, one of the videos, I noticed that there was another, yeah, there's another cable right there underneath that log. Right here. It's crazy, man. Look at all those cables. Okay, well, let's see. What I think I want to do is let's take this back off for the for the moment. And let's reseat you down in so you're sitting flat. Come on, man. There we go. Okay. Now, is it possible to get this in just like so? We did lose a couple of the grills here. Okay, I think that's locked in place. Now, can we also... Oh, there's another grill. Can we also do this? Don't blow up! <laughs> See, I'm afraid when it starts glitching like that, it's going to just go flying. That would not be fun with all of those mats inside. All right, I'm going to assume that that's locked in place. All right, sorry about that. My uh, daughter sent me a text. And as much as I love you guys, uh, my daughter is higher priority. <laughs> uh, and that's the way it should be, right? Anyhow, um, all right, what are we doing? We uh, we put those there. Again, you know, for because of the risk of instability and this all blowing up and going all over Kingdom Come, I don't think I'm going to put anything more on that trailer. Um, again, with fast travel, this is, process is so so much easier now. But let's see if we can get the rest of these cables in here. But I'm I'm a little bit thinking we we're probably approaching the limit on here too, just because. It's not a space issue so much as it's a number of items issue. But we'll see if we can get the rest of them in anyway. I really don't know for sure how the game works in terms of does it just allow you a certain quantity of items or does it take mass and stuff like that into account too? I really don't know. But let's not test our luck with so many individual items that could explode and go all over the place. So let's take this over next. Easy there. I don't want to go off the end of that because that would not be good. Good old Arnold. I think I, I, I did tell you guys in a previous episode that I went up there where all those little buildings are. There's nothing up there. There's no notes or um, any other um, points of interest. It's just buildings. Right, hot parcel travel. Hopefully, all this stuff will come with us. Okay. 
there goes the trailer down the hill again. Um, I think everything we have is... <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Everything we have can go outside. I mean, why don't we... I'll tell you what, here, we'll come back for that trailer later. Why don't we put these cables in this shed over here like we did on Old Arnold? That kind of makes sense. That way they're they're still undercover. Well, I guess they're undercover. I don't know. That doesn't look very waterproof. But they're easier, you know, at hand to. Okay, so we have a nice little shelf here. Um, I don't know if there's much point in trying to put these on shelves because I don't know if they'll stay on there, but we could try it, I suppose. It's going to... No, nah, you know what? This is going to be more trouble than it's worth. I'm just going to put them on the ground. But I will I will try and separate the large, larger ones from the smaller ones. All right. So um, I got to thinking <clears throat> what we might should do is take a couple of the smaller trays once I get them out here and then put these or as many as I can in a tray so that way when I need to use them I can just carry the whole tray you know to the to wherever uh, either that or I guess we can drive the excavator over here and hook them up but that might actually make more sense uh, anyhow I was able to get these stacked relatively neatly but the problem with these round these larger ones is I can only pivot them this way I can't make them go flat um, so you know they're a little more I guess that's okay it's not ideal, but it's okay. Very good. We got that done. Next. Next on the agenda. Uh, we do have those few things on the trailer that we have to unload, so let's get that done. We're making good time here, folks. I think we uh, will definitely be done with the, the move out here by the end of this episode. Now, we still have all the setup to do, but we won't do that till spring anyway. Um, the next thing on the agenda is probably going to be me coming out here with the drill. Uh, and you know starting that process until a permafrost sets in I will show some of that on camera but not a lot just because it's going to be very repetitive and mundane but I will show some of it for you all right so yeah I think everything in here can just go all the way out to the wash plant staging area and we can just keep it out there because none of this is going to get ruined in the cold weather I suppose maybe the miners' mosses might not be so good for them, but on the other hand, if they're dry, I don't I don't see how that would really hurt them either. So we're just going to assume they're dry. Do I have my light on? Yeah, I do. I wish that they would make mods for this game, and maybe they will someday. I. I do know from what I've heard anyways that the devs are still working on the game and that there is there will be more updates coming out uh, which is very good news of course um, but all that to say it'd be nice if there was a mod that inc made your light brighter you know your helmet light or whatever it is that I'm using as my own personal light <laughs> because it's not really all that bright and maybe cover a, a larger surface area too or a larger area and let's uh, reset this so it's not sticking out get that more up to the front too okay excellent we are making good progress here let's head on back to old Arnold and get the next load won't be too many more loads now and then we'll have everything moved out here If you're wondering why I, I'm not offloading the jack and the tire to make more room, it's because I could get a flat at any point in time and I need that in the truck to fix it. So that was probably quite obvious to most of you, but I thought I'd state it anyways. Okay, let's travel back to old Arnold.
What? How did I not notice that? Oh, you know what? This stuff fell off when we... Oh, okay. And we, it was never out there in the first place. It fell off. Okay, well... Um, here, I'm just going to run it back out there real quick. Uh, actually, two. Yeah, no. I'll be right back. I'll just cut this part out. All right, guys, we are back at Old Arnold. And let's start loading more stuff up. So uh, we want to put the bigger items, like the hoses, I think, in the trailer. See if we can get those to lay down as flat as possible. And then we'll stuff the smaller items in the pickup. And let's just see how much we can do here. I wonder if, uh, you know, the stuff that that sometimes gets left behind when we fast travel doesn't want to go any closer than that. That must be a trailer limitation because it's, I, I don't think we've lost anything out of the pickup truck fast traveling, but we have lost things out of the trailer. So it must have, you know, some kind of a limit on it as to how much you can put in it. Which, if that's true, then we want to try and put the bigger things on here so there's fewer quantity-wise. I cannot see a daggone thing here. All right. I don't know if that's going to fly or not. We'll, we'll see. The rest of this stuff, let's put in the pickup. So we'll just start throwing it on in there no, in no particular order. All right, I have a feeling like even if I could get all the rest of this in there, we we still probably won't be able to get it all through the fast travel. So let's let's just plan on one more trip. But we should definitely be able to get the rest of this in one more trip. Uh, I'm not even sure if the what's on the trailer is going to make it, but there's only one way to find out, right? Let's get turned around here. Make sure we don't go off the end there again as usual. The as usual part meaning that we don't go off the end. Too bad you couldn't sell a parcel back, you know, for obviously for a, a, a much discounted price because you've dug it out. But I mean, there, A, this is property, you know, so that alone should make it worth something. And B, I mean, there's still gold on it. There's just not as, not the good stuff anymore. Uh, but as far as I know, that's not something you can do. Well, I don't think you can do that. Actually, I know you can reset the parcel, which costs a whole ton of money to do. But the cool thing about that is when it resets, I'm sure it uses a new seed. And so it puts the gold in, in a new location. Uh, looks like one of our trays didn't make it. That's okay. though. I kind of figured that might happen. See if we can get to this trailer here. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Well, now the problem is, is I don't think I can get to the latch on the tongue unless I can get... To, oh, okay, we got... We were able to get to it through the tailgate or bumper or whatever. All right. There are a couple of items here that we want to put in the shed, but most of this is going to go outside. So let's just take it that stuff first. We have to figure that these power cables and water hoses are meant to be used outdoors so they can handle the, the weather. Put the big, big boys over here, the fat water hoses as they're called. And, uh, and we got a bunch of small hoses. We can just kind of throw those in there for now, I guess.
It'll be fun to see how this plant is uh, set up. I mean, I, I, I know I can generally tell by just looking at the placement, but once everything's actually in place, you know, then we'll really be able to see. I have seen... Oh, no, we don't want to throw it in that pit. We want to throw these down here. I have seen other people on YouTube at this parcel, but I haven't paid really close attention to the actual positioning of the equipment on the wash plant and stuff, so... That's a really nice spot, though, for for bucket, for a bucket pile. All right, this can go over here. Just put it in the water hose area. Not too worried about it not being exactly with the other red ones. This we'll take up here for now, anyway. And that empties out the trailer. And then we just got a bunch more power cords here. I think we want all of that, that stuff to go inside. I mean, I'm sure it would be fine if we kept it out here too, but we'll take it inside. Didn't I have... Yeah, I do. Okay. Answered my own question. Okay, let's put these items in here. You know, the funny, I might have already mentioned this to you guys, but the funny thing about this shed is you're storing all this stuff in here for the winter, but the doors, you can't actually close the doors. <laughs> so yeah, it's under shelter, but it's not gonna do much any good about the, the extreme cold. So I guess we have to just assume that the doors are closed I would think too, and you know, if you stored things in here that needed to not get super cold, you'd probably want to have a space heater or something in inside. Got this electric motor. I I think that this was actually pulled off of one of the duplex jigs. But I don't remember for sure, so we'll just hang on to it. It was actually damaged, and then one of the mechanics repaired it, which is kind of cool. All right, I guess that's it. Let's let's make what will probably be our last trip to Old Arnold. Let's see if we can catch this when it comes into range. Boom, look at that. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, so the only thing that was left behind is just that tray. So it looks like everything else transported with us, so that's good. You know, I've never put a single piece of wood on that campfire. It's been burning the whole time. Or that one up there either, for that matter. It's magic. The final load... Then we will say goodbye to old Arnold. This parcel made us a millionaire a couple, three times over, actually. So it's been good to us. I was asked by a viewer um, what, oh, what advice I would give for starting out this game. And knowing, you know, what I know now, because I've been playing it for, what, three or four months now? Something like that. Maybe even longer, actually. Um, my response was a couple things. My response was, make sure you do not disable nuggets unless you want a very long and grindy game. That was the first thing I said. Now, some people want that, and if you do, more power to you. Go for it. Me? I probably will never play that way I, I just don't have time I mean you are we're talking about an untold number of hours grinding 
in real time to get anywhere if you don't have nuggets enabled in this game. If you got the time and you got the will and the desire, go for it. Not me. <laughs> so yeah, no disabling of nuggets. Take all the nuggets the game gives you because you're going to need them. It gives you a, a really quick boost in the beginning of the game, and it seems to be OP. It's like, oh, this is this is too easy, but no. As the game progresses, you will you will be glad that you took the nuggets. So that was my first word of advice. My second word of advice is don't dig in crappy dirt any more than you need to. Now, those of you who are familiar with this game are probably thinking, well, duh, that was an obvious statement, but... Actually, it wasn't. At least it wasn't to me when I was new because, you know, I was... Seriously? <laughs> Another cable. I was, uh, you know, I was like having fun digging and I'm going, man, I'm just going to dig the whole thing out because this is really cool, right? And so, and but, you know, I realized as time went on how incredibly long it was taking to do this. And now I realize that you want to drill your parcel out as soon as you can. And you don't have to buy the drill, just lease it. So you know where the good gold is, so you can go directly to it. And uh, so uh, so that was my second piece of advice. Don't dig in crappy dirt. And the third piece of, of advice, which was went along with that, it was, you know, drill out your parcel as quickly as you can. So those are the main things. Um, now, for me, as, as you guys who have been watching me all along know, I've kept the time in real time for the most part, except for for the smelting and that has advantages and disadvantages um the the main advantage is you, it gives you plenty of time to you know to earn all the, the money that you need to to build up but it takes a long time though too in other words i'm not being rushed by the seasons passing too quickly the disadvantage as you guys will also know if you've been watching me all along is you don't your, your workers come in extremely slow i mean i still don't have a very good crew at this point, both in terms of quantity of workers and quality. Um, and if you speed the time up, you know, they're going to come in faster and they're going to level up faster. So, you know, there's a trade-off uh, for that. And so that's something to consider too uh, when you're, you know, when you're trying to figure out how to play the game. Now, there's another advantage to playing in real time, and that is fuel consumption. If you play, if you speed up the time then you're going to consume fuel at a much faster rate, which makes perfect sense because, you know, the time's going by faster. So um, so that's another really big advantage to playing in real time is, you know, you're not having to buy fuel every time you turn around. So anyway, yeah, there you go. All right, guys, well, let's all say goodbye to old Arnold. We may not ever be back or maybe we will i might come back to look at some things like how did i dig that one area something like that but we certainly will not be back here to to work anymore uh so thank you old arnold for your contribution to our pocketbook to our bank account all right you guys let's head on to our new home back up to night our final trip from uh in terms of the move Hopefully everything made it. It should. I would expect that it would have. Yep, looks like it did. Right. Now, we get to play back and forth with this stupid trailer again. Come on. You can do it. Okay, let's see if it'll drift in close enough for me to latch it. Really? It's like right there. Well, it was until I pushed it out of the way. Okay, it's coming. It's kind of a pain in the butt, man. This trailer should have... Okay, no, come back this way. No, no, no. It should have... It's right there! <laughs> brakes applied to it when you get here. In fact, why the heck does it disconnect it at all? I mean, what's up with that? Alright, back up for a second. How can that not be in range? Can we bump it just a smidge? 
See, now it's not moving. I think it's finally locked itself in place. Okay. It's not even registering now. All right, well, then we're probably just going to have to reset it because it's not even giving me the option to, to do anything with it. Let's drop off uh, this stuff first just to get that part done. Can't believe we still found one more cable. That's crazy. Well, we, we, we shouldn't need to ever buy cables again for the rest of our life and then some. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Oh. I mean, I guess those cables are all good. I, there's not really any way to tell. You can't put your, your analyzer doohickey on it to tell if it's damaged or not. So... What happened over time is, you know, the cable snapped. I took it off and did something with it. I don't know. But then it sort of kind of magically just fixed itself. And because they're really hard to see in dirt when there's no snow on the ground, I, you know, I just kind of lost track of several of them over time. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. That's my story. Oh, I better not do that. Get a copyright strike. We certainly have a lot of cables and hoses, don't we? And we we use most of these, too. There's not a whole lot there that are spare. All right, I think that's it. Whoop. A little save. A little autosave right in midair. Okay, um, I don't know where we are on time, but I'm just going to keep going. This might be a little bit longer episode, but we, we're so close to wrapping this up for the winter that let's just keep going. Uh, I'll try and edit it, you know, too, but let's just keep keep on keeping on, get it done. Get her done. Did we, wait a minute, didn't we have two red hoses? No, we only had one. I think. Yeah, I think we only had one. So if this thing's bugged, we're just going to have to reset it. So click on that and restore, and then we'll just carry – oh, the hose doesn't want to fit in there. Okay, whatever. There's the trailer right there. I'll put that in there, and we'll put the hose in the pickup too. All right, so now the next thing we want to do is let's get the front loader and the dump truck moved into these slots uh, we didn't really have as much stuff to put on these shelves as i thought we did so we're good to go there then we will put in the medium sized equipment and then the excavator and then we should be all buttoned up for the winter That's in place. If we, well, here, let's get inside first, and maybe we can raise this up and give us a little more space on the floor. Well, maybe, maybe not. about as high as it's going to go. Are we uh, hitting a light or anything? No, we're good. 
I'm guessing in reality, or in, in real life, did I put the parking brake on? Yeah. You probably wouldn't want to do this. You probably would want to lower the bucket so that you take the pressure off the hydraulic lines while it's in storage. But I'm sure the game does not care about that, so we're just going to leave it the way it is. All right, now we need to get this guy and this guy in there. This guy we don't really need to put in there. I mean, I can't think of anything that could possibly get broken on that. I don't think it has any parts that we can do anything with. Could be wrong about that. Put it this way. If we can get it in there, we will. But it's the least, the lowest priority. All right, now... Uh, what we want to do here is we want to swing this way and then carefully back this up over here. Eh, right about there is good. Good. Okay, let's do the same thing with with the um, whoops water pump and the water tank. Where is the water tank, by the way? Uh, did that come out here, or did we put that in storage? I don't know. Well, here, let's get this taken care of first, and then we'll we'll look at that. I don't see it though. Maybe we did put it in storage. I mean, I don't even think we're going to need it, though, to be honest with you, because we got the water tower all fixed up. Nice and easy. There we go. Man, I hope we can get the excavator in here. If we can't, I'm just going to send it to storage. I'm not going to screw with it. It costs us another 3000 bucks, but that's what it takes. That's what it takes. All right, now, where is the water tank? There it is. I wonder why it put the water tank over here, but it put all the other stuff over there, the smaller stuff. I don't know. I'm not really sure about that. Now, where are we going to put this? You know what I think we'll do? Oops. Can we... Maybe put it... There ish. Hit stop. No, 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 no. I want to swing it this way. And then back this way. Except we're already up against the wall. Is there any way I could I mean in in real life? You'd be able to pick this up and swing it over. Oh, well, it let me do it for a minute there. Maybe it's because I'm hitting the bumper. No, it's locked now. We need a 
We need a super strength option like we have in the farming simulator for moments like these. It is not letting me budget. All right, let's try something else. Let's go over here. It, this may may be an exercise in futility because I'm starting to think I might not be able to get the excavator in here. But we're going to try it. We went to all this effort. We're going to at least try it. Okay, let's reconnect that. Now what I'm going to do is simply back it up like that. Okay. I hope that considers it inside the building. It's sort of kind of sticking out a little bit. No, it's inside. I mean, the door should be able to close. All right, yeah, we'll consider it inside. Like I said, we'll worry about the trailer at the very end. Um, or, you know what we could do? We could put the trailer in, in this little shelter. Well, no, nah, it's not going to fit in there, is it? All right. Okay, let's uh, let's see if there's any way at all we can get the excavator in there. I'm not going to bet money on it, but like I said, we're going to try it. We are going to give it the good old college try. So let's bring this, make sure this is folded all of the way. Um, how do I work the thumb again? I haven't, I never used the thumb on this. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's already up all the way. Gotcha. So fold that all the way up and then bring this. Yeah, I don't know, you guys. <laughs> it's going to be... It's going to be iffy. This thing is almost out of fuel. Oh, I see a story. Yeah, well, let's not worry about that right now. I wonder if we even got it partially inside, if the game would then consider it okay. The tooth, well, there's three parts on this that can go bad. There's the fuel filter. I'm actually scraping the ground here. Let's bring that up a little bit. There's the fuel filter, there's two hydraulic hoses, and there's the teeth. So, actually, that's many things if you look at it that way. But, you know, if we could... Ooh, we might be able to make this work, actually. What I'm thinking, if we can squeeze in here... Maybe I shouldn't have put that water tank in yet. Uh, ooh, this is going to be tight. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're scraping it, but... It's working. All right. Awesome. Now, we can actually raise this up a little bit. We don't want to hit the rafters, but 
or the lights or anything. And we are inside. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Very neat. Okay. Put the brake on, turn off all of the, well, turn off the engine. We got it inside. That's awesome. Now, we might be able to scooch the trailer in uh, through here. Yeah, we should be able to put the trailer right there. And then we're golden. Yeah, we scraped that a little bit. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, let's get this trailer in. Then, we, then we're done. And it's done. It was a done deal. Mission accomplished, guys. Fantastic. All right, so... Um... I am going to... We're, gonna, we're, we're done. We're going to end the episode here. Uh, but what I want to do is... I'm going to save the game. I'm going to then lease a drill and bring it out here and see if I can use it. My guess is, now I don't know this for sure, but my guess is that I should be able to use it until the permafrost arrives. And it says there's still six days left until that happens. So if that's the case, then I will spend the rest of the winter drilling. Uh, and I'm only going to show you guys a little bit of that because, again, it's just going to be boring as all get out to, to watch over and over. Oh, my guy, just leaning out the window there. You know, this guy looks a little bit like Dave Turin. <laughs> I don't know if they, I don't know if they modeled the character after Dave Turn, but he kind of looks a little bit like Dave Turn to me. Actually, it's a fairly good detail model too, man. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, so if I can drill, I will, and like I said, I'll show you little little bits and pieces of that, but not all of it. And then hopefully we can get all the drilling done before permafrost, and when that happens, then we go to the hotel and we re re rest and relax. Uh, over the winter in the hotel until springtime arrives. So that is the plan for the for now. And then obviously if, if the drilling doesn't work for some reason, I'll reload the game and we'll just we'll go to the hotel and have to do the drilling in the springtime. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.